<laughs> what an insane way to end um bound for glory ladies and gentlemen <laughs> sorry if my voice sounds a little low um it's like 12 50 as i'm recording this video you know impact wrestling decided to have a bound for glory at like 10 o'clock p.m but anyways overall i thought bound for glory was uh it was a solid pay-per-view it wasn't a bad pay-per-view it wasn't a bad pay-per-view but it but um overall i thought it was a solid pay-per-view we're not going to waste any time we're going to get straight to it remember to subscribe to the channel like for more content and so on and so forth so we kick things off with the tag team match play of the impact knockouts tag team championship being defended as the inspiration jessica mckay and cassie lee in their debut match defeating decay havoc and rosemary they are the new impact knockouts tag team champions and honestly i, I kind of knew this was coming i think everybody knew that this was coming you know i said in the predictions that there was just no way that you were going to have the inspiration in their debut match, you know, and lose at the lose right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? So um, congrats to the inspiration. They'll be hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they will be great impact knockouts tag team champs. So good on them for winning. Next, we have the. Tournament three-way um, dance for the vacant Impact X Division Championship. Trey Miguel winning, defeating Steve Macklin and El Fantasmo. Man, dude, this was a great match. To me, this was one of my favorite matches of the night. Um, Fast-paced, back and forth, to the point. Just nonstop action, and I enjoyed it throughout and I'd, like I said Mentre Miguel winning the M the um Impact X Division Championship uh, just like I did in my predictions. Um I'm 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 cool with this. I'm happy. I'm I think this is good and I think that this is a really good win for Trey Miguel and in wrestling terms if you think about it all three guys of MSK are well champions. Two are the NXT champions and of course Trey Miguel is the Impact X Division champion. I think that that is a really cool moment for um, all three men. Next, we had a tag team match player. We have Heath coming out. Obviously, the big question of this match as they were, well, him and Rhino defeating Wyland by design. Uh, the big question was, uh, who was Heath's mystery partner? And at first, we thought we were going to get it at first. But, of course, Heath got attacked by uh, Dina and Joe Doring. Um, so, mainly, most of the match, um, this was a solid tag team match. It was all right. It was meh. You know, Heath pretty much got beat up for most of the match. I mean, he did a comeback. But the big issue was, obviously, Rhino coming back. Rhino hitting the spear. One, two, three. Heath and Rhino are back together. The band is back together, so it's really cool to see. I'm a huge fan of Heath and Rhino. So great together, so entertaining. So the reunion was really, really, really awesome to see. <clears throat> Next, we had your Call Your Shot intergender gauntlet match, where the winner will receive a contract that they can invoke any time for a championship match of their choosing. And in the end... Moose won by defeating Matt Cardona. Um, I was cool with this. I had no problem with this. I thought W. Morrissey was going to win, but Moose, you guys know me. I'm a fan of Moose, so I had no absolute problem with this whatsoever. And we saw later on, and we'll talk about it in the main event, how this really was beneficial. So next, we had a three-way tag team match play for the Impact World Tag Team Championships. The Good Brothers defeating Finn Juice and Bullet Club. Um, tag team matchup was, was 
all right. I mean, it wasn't bad by any means, but um, it was all right. Um, Good Brothers retained their titles, which was, yeah, you guys know me, man. The Good Brothers, I don't know. I've they're not bad, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not really into the big hype. Um, around the Good Brothers, as many other people are. So, Good Brothers winning. It was, yeah. All right. So, and what was our semi-main event of the evening for the Impact Knockouts Championship? Mickey James is defeating Deanna Perrazzo. Yes, Mickey James ends the damn near one. Excuse my language. One year long reign of Deanna Perrazzo. And, you know, we got to give credit where credit's due. Um, Deanna Perrazzo was a great champ. You know, she was champ for a year. She was dominant. She was on top of the Impact Knockouts division. And she just played her part well. But tonight was Mickey James' night. And it was a surreal moment for Mickey James. And um, Mickey James is going to be a great Impact Knockouts champion because it's Mickey freaking James. So, Great match. Enjoyed the story of it. I, I thought this was a really great match. Um, really great match for the Impact Knockouts title. And in our main event, Joss Alexander defeating Christian Cage um, by submission. He wins the Impact World title. This is a really great match, man. Really great main event for Bound for Glory. And just a surreal moment for Christian Cage putting over um, Josh Alexander. But it was the ending that made a lot of people upset. Moose cashes in his contract and he beats Josh Alexander and he wins the Impact World title. Dude, this is how you make a name for yourself. This is how you generate heat. This came out of nowhere. I was not expecting this. No one was expecting this. Moose is the new Impact World champion champion this is crazy so that was impact man like i said bound for glory tonight i thought it was overall a solid pay-per-view event and um yeah man gotta give credit where credit's due hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to subscribe to the channel and so on yeah